Hey guys, it's Peter here from Nerds for Life blog and I'm going to be talking about episode 102 of Dragon Ball Super. Now the most important thing that we found out from this episode was the fact that you don't need to wait for your opponent to transform. That's right! Something that has frustrated Dragon Ball fans for a very long time is the fact that they all wait for their opponent whether they're evil or good to transform. Even the evil ones, they have this common courtesy that allow them to just, this, they just wait it out. Oh, my opponent's gonna become stronger than me. That's okay, I'll just stand back, I'll sit over here, I'll let you do that, and then you can kick my ass. In instead of me defeating you now, before that happens. So Android 17 attacked, you know, some of the Universe 2 characters. And everyone pretty much lost their shit. In the end of the day, those characters were able to transform, so they technically haven't learned their lessons, but Android 17 at least has some brain. One thing that we also did find out is Universe 2's Yard Rat is still in the tournament. It looked as if he was knocked out a few weeks ago, but he's actually still around, so there's still time for him to do something. Also, Universe 2 do not call it transformations, they call it rituals, which makes it slightly different. In the end, it's pretty much a transformation, but technically it's not, it's a ritual. It also turns out that Universe 2's warriors are just as weak as they look stupid. Um, they honestly looked really dumb and annoying. There were parts and love and all sorts of things just going around everywhere. It was frustrating and I'm really, really glad that the episode ended because I was battling through that. I mean, Vegeta was so weirded out by the characters that he couldn't even block against them. He preferred to flee. We also discover that the light that we thought was a sun is actually a part of the arena and you can touch it with your feet, which means you have something to jump to mid-air now, which could add as an interesting component for the rest of the tournament. Also the fact that we all assumed that that was a sun, when in actual fact it was a light. Overall, the Universe 2 characters I found quite frustrating. I didn't find them entertaining at all. They transformed into these interesting sort of looking characters and they didn't really do anything. They were just annoying. There was just too much love in the air and I didn't show any love towards the episode at all. I found it really, really frustrating. And unfortunately, it's probably gonna continue next week as only one of them have been knocked down. Anyway, they're my thoughts for episode 102 of Dragon Ball Super. Make sure to subscribe. Also check out our Baruto reviews later on in the week.